Oh, hello everybody and welcome to the E League of Ireland Grand Finals right here in Dublin in the wonderful Camden. Camden, make some noise! Let's go! All right, so my name is Chris O'Gara and I go by The Gara Show and I'm joined here today by OJ, a.k.a. Young Shakur, who's going to be going through all the action of tonight's games. OJ, how are you feeling about today? The Camden looks amazing, it's a great venue. what the score is going to be, you know, we're not going to keep it to the camp, I think it'll be as good as the lads, but um, yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited, what can I tell you? It's, it's going to be so good, you know, the venue looks amazing, we've already set the dates, it's been a long journey to get here, and let me tell you guys all about that, five weeks of non-stop action between 20 teams have led to today to bring us eight quarter finalists, long road, but of course only one person can win, and of course the winner walks away with 1,500 euro, a place in the E Champions League and a spot in playoffs for the FC Pro World Championships. Of course the FAI and Virgin Media alongside myself are very excited to bring the conclusion to the E League of Ireland 2024 campaign here today. That's what it's all about and we got a great game coming up right now. Quarter final we have live on the stream, we have Cork City's Mr. Welly up against Poor Bramber's Connor Dooley. OJ, this is going to be an exciting game. It's going to be exciting, to be fair. Like I said, Mr. Welly, like I seen him last year actually in class. He was absolutely outstanding in the game. Um, but your man Mo, he's meant to be the underdog, isn't he? He is indeed. I mean, look, talking about this Connor Dooley guy, we've seen him in the group stages. He has been an absolute demon in terms of attack. Uh, he's the underdog in this fixture for sure, but up against Mr. Welly, he went in his group stage undefeated and, of course, came third place last year in the E-League of Ireland. It's all to play for. Yeah, to be fair, it is. It is all to play for, but, like, at the end of the day, it's on the game. It's on the daylight. Do you get me? So, best of luck to the lads. Genuine. It's going to be a great fixture. We're going to have the quarterfinal kicking off right now. We're going to let OJ introduce the fixtures. Now, on the left, we have Kieran Walsh repping Cork City FC. Let's make some noise for Kieran. And now, on the right, we have the underdog from Cove Ramblers, Connor Dooley!
Okay, so here we go. We have our quarterfinal fixture. I'm joined today in commentary by Mr. Ryan Duffy. Duffy, how are you keeping? I'm not bad, Gara. Not bad. It's going to be a great game today. Uh, before we kick off the fixture, let's talk about you, Ryan. You were previously in this event, of course. Uh, didn't make it to the stage here, so the competition is extremely, extremely high this year. I'll stop, Gara. Look, as we've seen, the likes of Tyrone's went out there today, one of the favourites. I was in the group of that myself with Owen and Dooley. So, look, the competition is high going around, and we are in for a barnstorm today. Okay, um, I think we're about to kick off the fixture, so let's get into the action quarterfinal right now. We have it live. Mr. Welly of Cork City against Connor Dooley of Cove Ramblers. Duffy, this is a game uh, we've been talking about for a while. This could be one of the best games we see today. Oh, look, the tension. Bringing round as a good best mate versus the lad I grew up with as well, so... Look, two boys, no. stages he is able to score and just like that Duffy he gets an early finish look if you're asking for a start that is it give it to Holland he will finish inside the box look Dooley unfortunately got him souls Jordan D League Violent has him back again as we can see dominating from the start so big start from Connor Dooley the underdog very 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 impressive and um, you know going off Kieran Walsh you know he's been one of the best players the E-League of Ireland has ever seen got third place last year and I'm sure he's going to be really wanting to at least make it to finals here so this is going to be a big feat for him to get over this Connor Dooley obstruction right now almost definitely as we can see he's brought all the artillery with him with uh, Alfie as his coach one of the pros at Nottingham Forest so he's, he is coming out to win at all costs today and he really is. Big play here by Connor Dooley and gets depossessed by Kieran Walsh, who's going to be pushing forward here. Uh, one player who we've seen, if he can go a goal down, we know he can get back into this game. You know, I think Kieran Walsh has really seen a lot of it. Oh, look, uh, years of experience. He is one of the, the forefronts for the, the League of Ireland scene in Ireland. And he is on the attack here with Mbappe. Back at the point. Green time block. Goes for the finesse on the edge of the box. You know, in the group stages, we have seen those finesses on the edge go in. Kevin De Bruyne, of course, being the primary player uh, to hit a lot of these. Um, but I think, you know, in the finals that we're here, we're used to seeing these players sitting at home and playing comfortably. But in a LAN, it's a completely different environment. So we might see a few different plays come out here today. Oh, look, even there, there's the first play. Normally, don't see from uh, Welly. He's always a more conservative player. So they've shown he's a couple of new tricks up his sleeve that he's willing to go for. Gets unlucky there. Ball out wide for Cove Ramblers here. who have had a great start. Ball into the box. Tries to lob that into Haaland. And we can see here, Duffy, we talked about height being a big thing uh, this year with the meta, you know, bringing Haaland into the box, getting the headers down. And it seems to be a lot of the case here uh, for the start here for Conor Dooley. Almost definitely the aerial plus is a massive advantage. Along with being six foot five, he cannot be stopped in there. I've seen all the pros using him. So... Look, he's just cheat code in the game at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> he is indeed. He's going to be one to be used, all right. But here we see Kieran Walsh out wide. Goes back to the middle. Kevin De Bruyne on the ball. A star player for a lot of these teams. He can pass the ball, and you're seeing it right there. Goes it wide to Hernandez. Bobby Charlton down the middle to Haaland again. A lot of these players have Haaland. Tries to give the three two pass there. Collins defends. And it's great to see, once again, Irish players being used in these teams. Oh, it's brilliant. And with the Paddy's Day promo to come out with all the squad builders we got of the players, and they don't look out of place. Yeah. That is the best thing about them. They look incredible here. And we're really getting to see them on display. 1-0, 24 minutes in. Cove Ramblers here in the lead. And i got to say, you know, Conor Dooley, he's coming into this final. He's the first time person to get to this stage. Um, and he looks very good on the ball. Oh, it looks shock and composed. And his first time playing comp mode, surprisingly. Wow. It's incredible to see how well he's come into this. But here is Kieran Walsh with Holland. Goes to Haaland on the left. Great block there again by Collins, who's really been a problem for Kieran Walsh to break down with Cork City. Mbappe to Haaland. Has space here. Haaland Oof. puts it in the back of the net. And there's the equaliser for Cork City. Kieran Walsh makes a statement here before half time. And it's all equal. 
look as we can see from the first time he's blocked down he's trying to send it back the way he learned took him on the inside and Haaland inside the box as we said does not miss oh, the Haaland card I mean is there any stopping him here Duffy two goals <laughs> it just doesn't look it but that's what we want goals Forget yeah. the defending. I tell you, that's what it's all about today. You know, in, in you know EAFC games before, defending was kind of a primary thing. But this year, it's really a, a game of you know scoring as many goals as you can. Attack being the prevalent kind of style of play, and we've seen that in the group stages as well, Duffy. Oh yes, as we've seen, look from high scoring games with uh, Dooley's first day out with Owen, and second day again, and likewise with a couple of my games. Look, it seems to be the way forward. It is very hard to contain the likes of a Haaland and Mbappe. They're just unstoppable at times. They really are an unstoppable force, and they could be out here. Hold it to Mbappe. Has space out wide to Bobby Charlton. Players in the middle. Haaland looking for space. Ooh. Goes back to the edge. De Bruyne. Hold it to make it 2 1. What a fantastic goal. Passing perfection by Cork City's Kieran Walsh to gain the lead here. And what a fantastic string of play there. Absolutely scintillating. Jesus, I never had the glasses for that now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just very hard to keep up with my days that is why he is one of the favorites for tonight yeah you can see here just the driven pass and the technique hasn't made a step wrong in that attack here and you know when it comes to these pro players that's what you're expecting at this high level that if they go one nil down they can keep the head and make those decisions in correct time and Kieran Walsh is such a great example of that oh, that is the difference look the walk on the fly the calculate was say the first 20 minutes is the best time to get them but after that if you're not in your own groove you're in trouble oh, and here we go though we have Connor Dooley for Cove Ramblers pushing forward with the player lock yeah cheeky player lock in there Hallow with the header down it works well best in the middle oh. tries to give it to Mbappe and Nemanja Vidic there great defender by Kieran Walsh he's seen that passing in and he cut it out yeah and look Nemanja Vidic was a wild card I did not expect to see today when you could have had the likes of a team of the season Van Dijk in there so yeah it's great to see these players really utilising all the cards they can, and Mbappe on the ball, step over, tries to get by Collins, but the Irish brick wall leaves no players to get through him in that attack. And here we see Cove Rambers pressing forward here. Connor Dooley on the attack. Will he get the ball to Ogbene? He does get the touch, but it's just going to go out for a goal kick here. It started off Connor Dooley, but Kieran Walsh really came back into this yes, game before the is. end of the first half. He has definitely grown into a gara. He is starting to flex his muscle around, but we're only in the first half and Conor Dooley, as we know, has come back, is able to score big goals as well, so, and he might have one or two surprises on the bench as well. He definitely does, you know, we've seen Conor Dooley and what he can do here, but he might be in trouble, Hold it, what a ball into the box, and Virgil van Dijk is going to stop that attack, possibly one more attack here before half time, if we can get past the halfway, I'll bend in with a slight tackle, and that means Kieran Walsh for Cork City leads in the first half against Cove Rounders, Conor Dooley. Give it up for both players, guys. Incredible first half. Very, very well played. Um, Duffy, what, what a great half there. You know, we're really seeing Conor Dooley come into the game. We know he's an attacking player. We know he's going to come with force. But Kieran Walsh, we just see his experience shine there uh, before the end of the half. Yeah, look, it just started. Jesus, I thought Conor Dooley was, was going to run away with it. But look, uh, Kieran Walsh seems to have come into the game, settled himself down, stifed him at the minute again. Plenty to go, but at the minute, he is in the driving seat and looking very comfortable. He is indeed. Like you said it yourself there, he's really come into his own. Uh, it's been a great start to the game. Uh, no games we've seen, I don't think, in the E-League of Ireland this year have been boring. They've all been goal-scoring spectaculars, and definitely in the second half, we're going to see more goals. Oh, yes, that's it. Look, you're going to see lads starting to open up. Look, if it's still 2-1, if it happens to go 3-1 or even 2-2, who knows? Tactics then start to go out the window, so... Again, it's anyone's ball game, so it is. So, look, both players are high quality when it comes to attacking, as we know. So, we're due a couple more goals. I we think. are indeed. And listen, let's get back into the action. Connor Dooley against Kieran Walsh. Let's go. <laughs> I think we're waiting to get back into the game. We're nearly there. But listen, Duffy, as a player uh, in this event, um, what does Conor Dooley need to do to get back into this? Look, if he keeps playing his game, he definitely is going to get the chances. As you can see, he's going to start off with tip now, which is a big thing. So he's going to keep going. And look, a wee slight change in tactics could be the big difference. Could be. We have another half here, of course, to play. And we're going to see what both players can bring forward here. Cove Rambler's pushing. Conor Dooley looking to get that attack through. But like we said about Kieran Walsh, he just, he knows how to attack, he knows how to defend here. And he's really coming into his own. 
50 minutes on the clock. Let's see what he can do. Haaland on the ball, pushing forward. Goes out wide. Theo Hernandez has options in the middle. Goes to play it out wide. Oh, Benny's there here for Connor Dooley. And Connor Dooley, you know, he doesn't want to leave this too late. We know in many of these games with high level players, Duffy, that they can hold the ball and control the tempo. And Connor wants to make sure that. Kieran doesn't do that to him here too early. Oh no, most definitely. As we know, pauses are a big thing, and if you can't get the ball back to get subs, you know that's the first trouble. And as we can see, they're capable of spraying the ball over and back for as long as they want. Oh, and that's a great ball, ball over the top of Benny. We're really seeing what Kieran Walsh can do here. Hold it. Has players in the middle. Kylian Mbappe. Is he offside? He's offside. No way, Duffy. I thought that was it. So did I. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was just that pass into the box, Mbappe. We see how good, though, Kieran Walsh is. He has that little step over or the little elastico. He's able to push into space there, and we see that with high level players. They're so fast off the track. Oh, look, you give uh, Kieran Walsh any space with them moves, he will burn you. And we're looking at the best version of Kieran Walsh at the minute from the looks of things. Haaland going into the box here, tries to find Mbappe oh. with the shot. And of a player of that stature, not expecting that finish. No, wow. Especially not that far from goal. So. <laughs> maybe, maybe Luck's going to start to play in the car Dooley's favour. So we're going to have to wait and see. You know, we see in these games as well, Duffy. Um, the momentum and tempo can completely change at any given moment for a player here. So Dooley's going to look to grab that as soon as he can. That's it. Look, I as myself as a player like the old pop shot here and there, just to get a bit of momentum back, get a corner here and there. And Connor Dooley is lethal from corners. So. We'll have to see if he can grab one here, but well, he's not giving him any space. Oh, Benny, great bit of skill, goes for the near post, and great save by Allison. It's going to be a corner kick here for Cork City. De Bruyne, and we know some of these players have some tactics to use. And let's see, driven ball right down the middle, falls to Theo Hernandez, falls to Charlton again. Cole Rambler's in trouble. Charlton out wide to De Bruyne, finds him in the middle with Cullen. Another Irish player here in the mix, holding down the midfield. And the pressure is building here. Ogbeni out wide, tries to swing it in. Virgil van Dijk is there just to clear it out. The pressure of Kieran Walsh right now is so intense. Dooley's doing well, though, to keep it out. Oh, no, relentless from Kieran Walsh at the minute. Now, if I was Conor Dooley, a sneaky little pause here just to kill a bit of momentum. He has the fans in the corner there to see could he get any advice. Would be the best way to put it, but he is under attack. Oh, and here we go, oh. nearly on Haaland's head. Defended very well, and you know, that's the thing about cross is Duffy at any given time one of those can go in and it can flip the game. Oh, no, most definitely. But at the minute, we are looking at an equalizer in Nemanja Vidic from stopping a Haaland cross, which I wasn't expecting. Came kind of out of nowhere, all right. But Kieran Walsh here pushing forward just under 70 minutes here on the clock, and we can see Cork City Kieran Walsh here. He's really keeping this possession. He knows what he's doing. He's holding on to the ball. And here comes Haaland. Goes out wide. Theo Hernandez trying to find a player in the middle. Bit of skill and trickery. Goes back to Haaland. He's so good at holding the ball here, Duffy. Even in attacking positions. It's very impressive. Oh, he has not put a foot wrong in passing. I'd be scared to see what his passing percentage is at the minute. Yeah, it looks very good. And Benny there defended well by Connor Dooley. And we see the pause here by Cove Lambers. Um, just under just over 15 minutes left on the clock here what sort of player Duffy do you feel Connor Dooley needs to bring on here to change the game look he has a bit of electricity on the bench so the likes of maybe a Pele or that something different something small little technical dribbler might just open a few gaps from one best Ooh. that's nearly the step over there Duffy you know Dooley can pull those tricks out of nowhere and he nearly caught Kieran Walsh off guard sleeping for a second and he's seen the gap and unfortunately once again, Nat Collins, Nemanja Vidic are just a brick wall. And here comes Cork City. Theo Hernandez tries to get by Ogbeni, who's put in an absolute shift in right back. You know, we've seen that card come into play, and he's been playing a lot of different positions here for multiple teams, but right back seems to be preferred just because of his pace and physicality. Yeah, and the big thing with Ogbeni, aerial plus, which is massive on the fullback, and everyone plays him off cam, and he looks now better off cam. Yeah, he looks very, very good. Bruyne with the tackle here. And here's Cork City looking to create an extra cushion. Haaland running into space. Cork City putting pressure on. Haaland on the ball. Trying to find a player in the middle. Will he go solo? Collins there again, who's been a star defender for Cove Rambers. And they're still waiting for that pause, Duffy. Only eight minutes left. It's crazy. And in comp mode, how long is that? We're talking here a full half with the ball not going out of play. Oh, and there it is. 
This is crunch time, Duffy. This is where the decisions are made that can change a game. Will Dooley be able to pull something out here? You were saying about him bringing on maybe a smaller player, be a bit more versatile pushing forward. Um, he's got eight minutes to do it, so not a lot of time. Look, he's gonna, there's going to be spring everything off the bench. He's going to have your or nines, your Dembele's, your Pele's, everything. Throw, throw caution to the wind. He will get one chance maybe with the comp mode. There is still time. Look, as everyone knows, 83 minutes on the clock in a normal game, that's still only about 75, so plenty of time. Yeah, he does have a bit of time to do it. It's intense, though. We're talking quarterfinals as well. This guarantees a place in semifinals. And this player will, of course, be playing Owen Mulligan. Uh, another player who was actually second last year had a great performance as well. So after this game, there's more obstacles to come. Oh, most definitely. And Owen Mulligan, as people may not be aware, a 90th minute winner against Emerald, yeah. which goes a long way with a bit of steel in the tournament. They're the type of moments that win things as seen. Look, he is the current FAI Cup champion, so he will be a hard man to beat. Yeah, but we're, we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, I can't wait to see what substitutions are made as well. Um, we've seen, obviously, some of the Irish players in the pitch. We've Collins in there, Albany in there. Uh, who would be your Irish pick if you're in an event like this right now? Oh, look, I had a wee soft spot for Leanne Cairns, so I had some <laughs> most definitely be in there, but Albene's, Collins, Collins, they're definitely, look, out with the pluses of uh, yeah. George Best, to sneak him in. For sure, and I think you're right, actually. I think we've seen a Pele coming on there, so that was a great call. Finn Azaz also pushing on that left-hand side, and it's going to be four minutes remaining. Cork City, can they score again? Oh, Hannon, great bit of dribbling there. Tries to find the ball into Charlton. Collins once again for Cove Rambers, making that statement in defence. He says it's not over yet. Pushing forward, Ronaldo. Collins as well, has space in the middle. Henri, this could be oh. it for Cove. No, great defending again by Cork City. And this is crunch time right now, Duffy. This is where we see players potentially holding on the ball just a tiny bit and keeping the tempo low. Most definitely, as you've seen there, that was the first little error Kieran Walsh made with a high through ball over the top. So. As you can see, Conor Dooley is putting on a serious press at the minute. Here we go, ball forward. And it's not going to be it. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to be that. Your winner of the quarterfinals will be Kieran Walsh of Cork City. Commiserations to Cove Ramblers, Conor Dooley. has been a fantastic participant in the event. Give it up for both players, fantastic. Okay, yeah, D listen, Tuffy, that was a great game. Um, commiserations for Connor Dooley, though. You know, we've seen as a first time player coming into the final, um, he did so well to get here, and he's very unlucky not to get that extra goal and get that equalizer. Oh, look, as we said, look, a professional job done by Kieran Walsh, as we've seen, look, maybe a bit of experience told in the end. Look, but Connor Dooley is probably all our fan favourite. He burst onto the scene, and there's many more to come from him, but we get to enjoy Mr. Welly for the, the next two, hopefully. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, look, it's going to be amazing. we got two big fixtures coming up here. Uh, we're going to have them very, very shortly as well. But um, listen, folks, we're going to jump to a quick interval. Don't go anywhere. We have two massive semifinals coming up shortly. Be right back.
welcome back to the E League of Ireland Grand Finals. We have two semi finals about to kick off, but before we go into those, we're going to have a quick word from League of Ireland director Mark Scanlon. Give it up for Mark, guys. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, you're all very welcome here to the Camden this evening for the E League of I I Ireland finals. Uh, delighted to have everybody here for what is our second year now of this competition. Uh, grown, I think, fantastically since last year, where we had a, a fascinating final in the Aviva Stadium. But I really want to thank Virgin Media for coming on board this year as our sponsors. Uh, it's been brilliant to have Virgin Media and the power of the brand of Virgin Media behind us this year, uh, given the kudos it deserves to this type of competition. Uh, massive thank you also to Epic Global for all the work put on uh, to bring these finals to us. And I think you see from the surroundings we have here in the Camden, it looks fantastic. So big round of applause, please, for Epic Global and Virgin Media. Uh, I want to thank our own team in the League of Ireland as well and the FAI with Stephen King, Kieran O'Brien and Gavin White who've put in so much effort from our side as well. Uh, it's been a, a, a lot of work over the last couple of months but it's been brilliant to see the competition come together from the exciting group stages that we had into the quarterfinals this evening and, and straight into the semi-finals now. So uh, it's a really big moment for these players as well. Esports is absolutely thriving in the country and from the football perspective, the players we have in the room this evening are some of the best in the country uh, and certainly have shown their worth here this evening. One brilliant quarterfinal that we've just seen, the other quarterfinals earlier on today, and we're really excited about the semi-finals to come. So uh, the game is thriving because of the people that are in this room. I know they've been banging our door down for the last few years about making sure that esports came into the FAI and in particular into the League of Ireland. And I think the ELOI is gonna go from strength to strength over the next few years. Uh, but again, that's down to the work of these players and the people who are so passionate about esports over the last few years. We want to support that, we want to see it continue. And to finish, I just want to wish the best of luck to the four remaining competitors. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some cracking semi-finals and a brilliant final to come, as we did last year. And congratulations for getting this far, and best of luck. Enjoy the night. All right, so listen, it's about to kick off. Semi-finals start right now. Camden, make some noise! Woo! It's going to be a good one. I cannot wait. OJ, what a quarterfinal we had there. That was spectacular. We know what Mr. Wally can do. He came in and got the win. Do you think he can go all the way? You know what? Like, there's, there's nothing that says that he can't. To get me, like, there's actually nothing at all that says that he can't go all the way. I genuinely think he's a good player. Like, you know what I mean? And, like, it's just so unlucky to be here. You hear me? Yeah. You get the first goal, like, and then it's just not able to like, capitalize. Like, I genuinely think like, it's going to go all the way. I think he could do, yeah, commiserations to Conor Dooley, what a fantastic player. But listen, we got to get into the action. Semi-final number one, here we go. We're going to leave it over to OJ to kick off the players. Let's go. So, on the left side, we have JP Slater from UCD. Can we make some noise for JP? And on the right hand side, from Dark Dark United, we have Eric Finn, example. Come down, let's roll. So here we are, big, big semi-final coming up, Duffy. We have Dundalk's Eric Finn against UCD's JP Sleater. This is going to be a brawl. Oh, this is going to be a barnstormer. As we can see, styles are going to clash here. As we've got JP, who is high-voltage football, long balls to Eric. As we're going to see plenty of German crosses, <laughs> knockdowns to Haaland. He does love a bit of that, so he does. So we're going to see styles clash and, and seeing who comes out on top. I mean, look, it's going to be a great fixture. We know Eric can go all the way, of course. He's our reigning champion right now. So he has a title to hold. He does have a title to hold and maybe a small bit of pressure. As we've seen in his first quarterfinal against Jordan Hayes, who was the 31st entry of the Royal Rumble, come in <laughs> and brought him the whole way to penalties and was very unlucky from what I've been told. So, yeah. again anyone's game it so really it, it really really is we got to say though you know eric finn being the former champion 
we know when it comes to the big games he can perform. JP coming in here, he looked fantastic uh, in the group stages leading up to this. If JP beats Eric, he could be a favourite to win this whole event. Almost oh, definitely, and the two have previous history in the group as Eric, as he's let everyone know, has <laughs> won, beaten JP twice, but yeah. third time's a charm, and this is the perfect time to do it for JP. So look, he knows what he's up against, he knows what to do, so we're in for a barnstormer. All right, here we go. Semi-final number one, Dundalk's Eric Finn against UCD's JP Sleader. Let's get into the action. This is going to be a fantastic game. It's crazy to say, Duffy, we're already in semi-finals, you know? We've seen five weeks of competition. It leads to today. Pressure is on. Oh, crazy pressure. As we can see, Katie McCabe in the team as well for Eric. So that is a change that I wasn't expecting to see. So he's probably the only man running it. So we're off and running now. Yeah, I mean, look, with the Katie McCabe card, we're used to, you know, Ogbene playing in that kind of wing-back role. But i got to say with Eric Finn, he's really throwing a couple of wild cards into his team and even into his play here. And I feel like that's where he catches players off guard. Almost definitely. Look, I appreciate things like that. And he's off on the attacking puck chart from here. So, yeah, no, most definitely. He likes to mix it up and he looks to play game by game from the looks of things with his team. So, throws a few core balls here and there. But as you can see, JP playing a bit slower than his usual self, so, which is good to see settle himself down yeah, in a game like this you definitely need to to come in to the action at, at your own pace and make sure that you don't go too attack or too defensive you've got to have a balance of it for anyone watching at home of course with UCD in the blue kits uh, for JP Sleater and Dundalk Sporting the white kit for Eric Finn here and a great switch out wide to Hollis great tackle as well by Bobby Charlton um, you know coming to the LAN event we've seen Eric like you said previously in the last fixture against Jordan Hayes very very close game uh, went down to penalties in the end Duffy so I feel like you know with Eric already going through that pressure I feel like he's well set for any pressure for him to come most definitely that is one of his key strengths is winning them tight games he is like Man United we can say <laughs> shout out to my friends out there there's just fine ways to win and Eric is like Man United so, on the attack here now with Eric, probably going to switch it over to Haaland. Ball over the top. Haaland just doesn't get it. Nemanja Vidic, uh, once again, he seems to be in a lot of these teams, Duffy. A uh, very prevalent card uh, in that centre-back role. Most definitely. He looks to be the equaliser for Haaland at the minute. Now, again, that could all change. You only need one knockdown, but time will tell. Let's see how Benny on the attack here. What's good ball out wide. Went for the player lock. Very unlucky not to get it on. But Haaland controls it back, has space in the middle to Keane, finds Hullet, goes back to Keane, back to Charlton, and there's a Mbappe, Ooh. what a save by Peter Cech, great attack here by UCD, JP putting the pressure on. Definitely putting the pressure on, and there was a bit of goalkeeper movement there, Eric read where he was going, so it shows he's done his homework. Very, very well played there by both players, 15 minutes on the clock, waiting to see if JP can get something in here early. Going for the corner kick. I was playing against JP. Gary, he is lethal from corners. He throws in different types of corners to see though. I mean, you called it. He found Haaland's head in the box there. And you know, I feel like that, that's something this year that's been a big feat, especially in the E-League of Ireland. Corners and set pieces. Usually we see players go short in previous years, but there's definitely a lot more room now for these custom tactics. Almost definitely. Look, with pulling keepers out, you know, players are putting it over the top of keepers now with the aerial. Everyone, you cannot set your keeper on the line. But also then it opens it up for short if people are sleeping. So, look, so many options, as you can see. Great switch as well there to Hullet by Eric Finn. Tries to get the ball in the middle of Bobby Charlton there for UCD to clear it out. Theo Hernandez at the left-hand side. Great use of player locks here by JP. Didn't see a whole lot of this uh, from him previously, but he's really mixing it up here. And Eric Finn gets the ball, has a counter-attack, potentially gets the ball to Mbappe, has Haaland on the back stick. Goes back and forward here, finds best, and that's here Hernandez. What an incredible card to have. JP, great defending. Oh, brilliant defending, very composed from him. And it's looking like Nemanja Vidic is putting a doubt in Eric's head at the minute. The troll ball over the top. But Theo Hernandez is my MVP through the group stages. Yeah. And here again, he's looking fantastic. Yeah, he just has it all. The physicality, the pace, and just the defensive understanding as well. He's someone you can depend on. And here's out Benny. Katie McCabe with a tackle. Duffy, things you love to see. Ah, just love to see it to do, especially an Arsenal man myself. Just love to see a ball. So. Very, very composed on the ball. Great switch as well. Finds Hullet. 
We see Eric Finn here really utilizing the crossfield balls, and we've seen him use that in previous years, you know, with German crossing and such, and it's definitely one of his best features. Oh, most definitely. Look, Eric, under a bit of pressure, he always knows he has in the back pocket, throw it out to the wing, pushes his players up the pitch, pushing you back, you know, very hard to stop. And look, if you do it enough, you will get your chances. And let's see if Eric can capitalize on this to bring Dundalk the lead. 27 minutes on the clock. Hull it with a free kick. We have a Haaland on the edge of the box there, but wondering what he's going to try here. Eric going for, goes for the shot. Ooh. Ooh. It's had a save by Czech as well. Massive Very save. impressive with a little knuckleball. Oh, I was expecting a ball into Haaland. I was waiting for the little player lock, but he threw us all off guard there with that. It really shows what Eric Finn's all about here, mixing up the strategies in semi-finals. Keeping JP thinking here, ball in the palin, what a save by Peter Cech. Incredible goalkeeping, I don't know if it was movement involved there or not by JP, but Cech did incredibly well. Oh, and there we go, as I said, look, pull the keeper to the near post, people seem to be overshooting him. So a little drop of the shoulder from Eric Dale, looks to be going short this time. Oh, and he goes to oh. handle, oh. Virgil van Dijk in the middle, JP's going to need to close down those set pieces, Eric looks on fire with him so far. Most definitely, if you're going to allow that sort of space, eventually one of them is going to... It's going to punish you and in a game of this magnitude and tightness one goal could be the difference it could be indeed and here comes jp for ucd great bit of movement has best hull it's in the middle utilizing the player lock again tries to find the crossfield ball Haaland in space Haaland oh. to make it one nil oh. and ucd take the lead jp Sleater with a fantastic counter attack once again, Haaland is the star man, and what a great finish. Oh, fantastic. As you see, Tosh, look, once you've seen him, he just, he just gave him the nod and told Haaland, go yourself, he's never going to miss, as we said, inside the box. Yeah, such a fantastic player to have. He has the aerial, but of course that left foot is absolutely wicked, and UCD take the lead here. We know, we know what Eric's all about. You know, he's gone undefeated, like we said already, in his group. He's already defeated JP in that group stage twice now. JP has the early lead here, so Eric needs to turn that switch on and get into the zone. Most definitely, but look, Eric doesn't panic. He has plenty of time, as we can see, and look, it's nip and tuck either way, and he's on the attack here, George Best. Ooh, just goes wide, and Czech has to cover that angle. We see Eric's very consistent with his attacks as well, but JP with that counter attack. Eric's got to be careful. Almost well, definitely. JP is a man to move the ball very fast, and look, he's 1-0 for a reason. Oh, oh. Hannah, there it is! Dundalk get the equaliser! We talk about Eric Finn and his set pieces, and that is exactly why. Fantastic header. And who is it, Duffy? It's ah, Haaland. Haaland again inside the box. That man does not miss, so he doesn't. No, Man City would have done with him last night, but you're not, you're not complaining about <laughs> Listen, that. Listen, we don't talk about that, Duffy. I'm Man City fan. I don't want to hear that right now. But incredible finish there by Eric Finn with Erling Haaland. Makes it one all here. And we're, now we have a game of football. Oh, most definitely. As you can see, we have Eric has pinpointed the weakness of JP at the minute because he's been rock solid otherwise. So it is all to play for. Here we go. Ball to UCD here. Theo Hernandez on the left-hand side. JP looking to switch it as well to Ogbené, we know can run, gives the ball into Best, trying to find options in the middle, Katie McCabe trying to close down, Best out wide, trying to put it back to Hullet, has options in the middle, Hullet, player lock to Mbappe, it's a great bit of passing by JP, he's really showing what he can do here, and why he deserves to be in the semi-finals of the E-League of Ireland, Best to the edge, Bobby Charlton, Hullet, tries to find Ogbené, he's there, but the ball falls back, Charlton again, UCD with immense pressure here, Goes back to Ogbeni. Hunting on the ball, goes for the ball to Mbappé! Oh. Puts it in the back of the net, and that's UCD taking the lead once again. JP just kept the pressure going, shows what he's all about here, and why he deserves a spot in the finals. What a fantastic bit of play. Oh, fantastic player locks, players going everywhere. He gets a sniff at the near post and says, thank you very much, Eric, I'll take that. Oh. That was fantastic by JP. And you know, like we said there, we used to seeing him counter-attack, but that was relentless. That was attack, 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 attack. Eric was struggling to get the ball into his possession there, and JP really showed that he can put that on at any given time and put Eric under that pressure. Well, most definitely an Eric in the attack here. Oh, Mbappe finds the pass. Oh, skins oh. the defender, Mbappe! Oh, oh and there it is! The equaliser! Dundalk! Show what they're all about here! Coming back into this game yet again. 
and Eric Finn will have a smile on his face after that. Incredible goal, great bit of skill and trickery there. Step over to the turn, Duffy, that's what it's all about. Oh, that's what it's all about, especially on the stroke of half time from a tip. Eric knows himself, that's when it's time to score. Again, we're going to pretty much be going in all even. Anyone's ball game, Gara. I tell you something, we're gonna ha we're gonna have to nickname Eric the Irish Zombie because he keeps coming back no matter what you throw at him. Every single time, even with the quarterfinals, one on penalties, you couldn't tie the man down. Here he is again at half time, uh, making that equaliser. And this second half, Duffy, this is gonna be spectacular. Oh, as we've seen from JP, adding it all together with his player locks, going forward as relentless with a bit of patience. And then we've Eric on the other hand who cannot be kept down but the looks of things so all the play for as we can see possession stats there JP might have more possession but that is an Eric Finn type of game it really really is you know we see Eric what he can do with the ball into the box with the corners and of course on the feet as well you know we're talking about the set pieces and what Eric can do but he has such a resilient style of play he can really adapt to his opponent and we're seeing it here today almost definitely as we've seen from the goal and we are kicked back off here again, so yeah, no messing from the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in, not many tactics needed here. It's all good vibes. Best on the ball, tries to put it in the back post. Wins it back again. And there seems to be something about JP when he moves forward. Anytime he loses the ball, his players are pressing really, really fast right now. And Eric's going to have to adapt to that in the second half. Almost definitely. He's, he is trying to keep the heat on. As you can see, JP's not messing around. He's not taking his 90 seconds now. Myself, I definitely would uh, recoup from that goal scored to me, but JP is heavy metal football. You can see Eric pressing here at the minute. Yes, indeed. Switch out wide here for UCD. Ogbeni moving forward. JP with the ball out wide to George Best. Trying to find that gap. Gets by the defender, but Virgil van Dijk there to clear it again alongside Katie McCabe. Great performance by both players as well. Um, you know, games have been close tonight and this is one of, another one of those games here um jp you know after losing games previously to eric finn of course this is a story for him for the comeback oh most definitely and look we've seen on stream the contrast in games he's a more refined version now he's he's fixed his weaknesses pretty much yeah he's told to slow down a little bit as we can see adding it all together it's brilliant to see and he's given eric proper run for his money it really really is you know we've had five weeks of action and to see players still learning through the process it's, it's incredible and we really see like you said there are refined JP Sleater here for UCD in this game to bring it even with Dundalk Eric Finn here of course former champion will he retain the title today that is what we're here to see Haaland Bobby Charlton in the middle McCabe there getting involved with that short pass and Kylian Mbappe gets it to Ogbeni back to best and he's looking for a pass through the middle, but he's taking his time. Best gets the ball again. And Dundalk here holding that possession. Ball out wide. And just Lovely. offside there, unfortunately for Eric. Six one minutes on the clock as well. Time is ticking here, Duffy. It definitely is. And look, as anyone has seen JP, he's a little, he's a little trump card in the quarter off the bench now. Torns me on when I see him coming on. But at the minute, it's, look, it's anyone's game. Eric starting to try, wrangle a bit of possession get himself a bit more control in the game, stop the JP onslaught, so it's all to play for. It's all to play for here, UCD, 64 minutes on the clock. Can JP once again take the lead as he's done thus far? And even a better question, will he be able to hold back Eric Finn? Getting back into this game, George Best on the ball, has players in the middle, Harry! Oh. Incredible goal! Eric Finn capitalizes, Harley being in the middle, Fantastic cross, it's what he does best. Dundalk here, take the lead. Oh, look, little error from JP. Eric coaxed them into it, ball down the line, and look, it's guaranteed goals, and he throws the ball into Aaron Hall, as we can see. So again, he's starting to wrangle, wrangle for holes in this game, so he's, he's been the man on top in the second half. He's flexing his muscles. Yeah, he really is, you know, seeing Eric at this far, and. Getting that lead right now, a couple minutes left on the clock, Duffy. It's going to be really interesting to see how this game goes. We've seen JP, and like you said, he's adapted to the style of play of, of moving forward and, you know, taking his time on the ball here. But it might get to a stage where he needs to push these players forward. Almost oh, definitely, and JP loves. JP, as you say, plays like he's angry all the time, so he <laughs> will full send this. He has no problem. Yeah. So it'll be an interesting last 25 minutes, that's for sure. It will indeed. You know, going into this against a player like Eric, what do you think JP needs to do? What subs does he need to make? What tactics does he need to change? 
look, if he continues with his player locks again, look, he has the likes of Courtois and that that he is well familiar with. Just maybe something different. We haven't seen enough high balls in. Maybe a Haaland and a Courtois up top. Just give it the double pronged attack. Yeah, he needs to bring something into this for sure. Eric Finn uh, with a counter attacking style of play there. We've really seen a lot from Eric today. We've seen the crosses in the custom set pieces. We've seen his skill and trickery just outside the box. And uh, yeah, just the play of the counter attack there with Haaland. Showing a lot of diversity with his play here. And it's going to give a lot for opponents to think about if he does progress here through two finals. Big game right now. JP on the ball. Switching Theo Hernandez. Been a big part of his play. Virgil van Dijk moving forward. Bobby Charlton. Here's that player lock that we're talking about. JP been very successful with it. Eric tackles the ball out. 20 minutes left here, Duffy. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling nervous right now. It's a big, big chance oh. over UCD oh. to get back into it. And JP equalizes just like that. The throw in, Haaland headers it down. Of course he's part of the play. And that's an or nine finish right there. Three all with a couple minutes left. What a great bit of play from UCD, JP's leader. Massive luck, he went back to what he knows best, throwing the ball up long, and look, when you've all nine feeding off, you're rarely going to miss. So, give Eric a bit of taste of his own medicine there. So, again, we're right back in the melting pot again. So, yeah. Very, very impressive by UCD here. We know what JP can do. And, you know, he's done what Eric's done. Come back into this game, get the equaliser, a quick response. I think that's the summary of this game, Duffy. It's really been about call and response. And both players have really shown they're up for it today. Oh, look, the resilience from both men is crazy. We've seen, look, they're growing game by game from it seems. Taking in the atmosphere. So, look, it's impressive. You know, and, look, JP is under attack. Haaland to or nine. Goes back to Haaland. Bobby Charlton with space out wide. Haaland again to Keane. To hold a great turn, best on the ball. And back again, the Dundalk here, just about claiming here, Philip Lamb. And look at the pressure from UCD. JP really piling it on here. But it could lead for a counter attack if he's not too careful. Haaland could be one of the stars in that. Bobby Charlton back to Philip Lamb. And it's getting intense right now, Duffy. Oh, we can feel it from both players. Eric is running back to what he knows best. And he's on the ball here with a Benge. Back to Van Dyke. Another ball down the line to Ruud Hullet. Is he going to throw it in? Pull it down the line. Haaland. Oh, Peter check out. Out wide. So check. To Van Dijk. Back to Ruud Hullet. Again, this is nip and tuck and go either way. And really he is here. Oh, oh, great defending. Emmanuel Vidic again, Duffy. He's been a great player uh, that we've seen so far in this event. Oh, most definitely. The surprise of the tournament for me, so he is, was not expecting that. But then Eric is going back to what he knows best. Here's Mbappe. Find out why does Hallen on side? He is. Hallen on the ball. Looks edge of the box to Keane. To Ogbené. Step over boost. Tries to find the ball roll scoop in. Virgil van Dijk, though, he's a brick wall. Ah, just, he's a machine. I'm surprised we have not seen more of him because he is the best centre-back in the game. And that is quite literally it. Very, very interesting gameplay. The ball's you know, bouncing off players here, Duffy. It's intense. Four minutes left on the clock. UCD pushing forward. Theo Hernandez in the middle to Haaland. Bobby Charlton, Keane, trying to find the lock. Oh, Benny's there to tackle. And here's a chance for Dundalk to clutch him right at the end. This would be prime. Eric Finn fashion, if this goes in, Haaland oh. tries to get it, and Vidic again. You know what you called it earlier, Duffy, he really is a massive counter to Haaland. Oh, it looks that way, he's winning every header, and Eric is doing his utmost to get it somewhere else, other than in the man in the area, so it's crazy at the moment. This is on the edge. It's crazy, I, I can't believe we're here again, you know. I'm sure Eric is feeling some sort of way right now. After the quarterfinal, where it was, what, 4 all? 4 all, yeah. I'm feeling the nerves here. I so am yeah, as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were obviously in the event, Duffy, but I feel so invested in the gameplay. You know, we've been here for five weeks together. Um, so it's great to see these players battle it out. And, you know, what, whatever happens today, i got to say, big, big shout-out to JP for really stepping up, you know. He, as we said already, you know, in the group stage, he wasn't successful against Eric Finn. But he's really shown that he's learned and he's adapted. And, you know, he's a great player. Oh, most definitely. Look, as he's just refined his game. He's just figured out what needs to be done. 
and at the minute it's it's paying dividend and he is he's in the mixer so again I think it might be a corner Derek as far as I am aware so I think it is we're gonna have to wait and see it's one minute left on the clock of normal time so here we go all right we see some substitutions here Robbie Keane we see Mia Hamm and Jeremy Frimpong a lot of good players coming on here and most definitely Robbie Keane the Nickus let's see what happens <laughs> one minute left of normal time he's about to finish up here corner kick what's going to happen Dundalk here played short hold it to Beckham and he goes for the cross into the box oh it's the crossbar hold it with the rebound and check there hold it again Peter Cech unbelievable goalkeeping and UCD held it out by a thread wow Duffy that could have been it right there JP said his prayers this morning my god how did that not go in wow wow I'm speechless I tell you I don't know what happened there Czech granny must have been lighting a candle or something because that was just incredible what was that two or three saves back to back and hitting the crossbar as well I, I'm shocked at the minute now again that suits JP that's a mentality thing knowing maybe the game's on my side that's yep. just, I don't even know what to say, you know. We, we talked already, Eric's gone four all in his last game that went to penalties. Dare I say, does history repeat itself? Oh, at this minute in time, it's looking like it, and I thought it was a stroke of genius bringing David Beckham on to whip a short corner in, and uh, Eric thought he had it. Oh. Everyone thought he had it. I tell you, that was as close as it gets now. But we're going to have to wait and see what happens in extra time. Players are going to kick off. This is going to be interesting. We're seeing the venue light up here. Camden, make some noise here. Extra time, let's go. This is what it's all about. This is E-League of Ireland at its finest. And here we go. Extra time kicking off. Let's get into the action. This is intense. I know we said it was intense earlier, Duffy, but man, I can only imagine what the players are feeling right now. Oh, it's been notched up another level, so it is. It's crazy. Now we get to see who is the cojones to make it to the final. And we're going to have to find out if it's going to be UC's JP or it's going to be Dundalk's Eric Finn here. Theo Hernandez out wide. Goes back to Bobby Charlton. Hullets in the middle. Has space best on the ball. Oh. And that's the finish. UCD take the lead here in extra time. It's only taken two minutes. George Best finds the back of the net. What a great start here from JP. Oh, fantastic start. And we said, look, most vulnerable from tip in this game and JP went down the line shifted the defence across George Best little neo post again I think so look he knows us the only way to beat Peter Jack is probably smash it into the neo post and hope for the best at this stage it really is we've seen him make so many spectacular oh. saves already but that is one save that he could not make UCD lead here in extra time now we talked about the previous fixture Eric did go one goal down in extra time and he brought it back as well here so I want to see how Eric plays this game. He's got a couple of minutes to get back into this, to this game, Duffy, but he's definitely able to do that. Almost definitely. And look, unfortunately for JP, he was scored in the 92nd minute, not the 120. So he's going to have to defend for his life now for the next, next 10 minutes to get in, get the troops in and go again. That's what it's all about here. Hold it on the ball, plays it into to best, gets the ball back. Back to best again, tries to put it through Virgil van Dijk there, who's been a wall, and Bobby Charlton pushes forward here. Counter attack for UCD. Ronaldo out wide. Haaland rushing into the middle, and he gets the aerial ball, but defended very, very well by Eric Finn here. And we see that pressure again from UCD. JP is just always able to find the ball back at his feet, no matter what happens. Oh, it looks he's men everywhere. Player locks are just taking their eye off it for a minute. Man slips free. Oh, and the ball back stick here, Hallow with the header down, it! Oh. And that's the goal for UCD to make the goal difference just that bit more difficult for Dundalk. Fantastic goal, really utilising the back post cross and the header down. Oh. JP here, he's adapted to the game and he's done so well. Oh, amazing. Look, JP seen Haaland again. Look, he trusts him that much, flicks it back across Rude Hullet. He's like, I'm going to send you into an E-League of Ireland final. And at the minute, it's all got to do for Eric now he's going to have to throw the kitchen sink out to get back into this game. He really will, you know. There's two goals left to get back into this fixture. One of these players will see the grand final. And right now, JP is in the driver's seat. 19 minutes left here for Eric to get two goals. 
let's see what he's made of. Hullet on the ball, tries to find it across. Bobby Charlton again, he's put some shift in here getting back defensively for JP. Oh, brilliant shift. Look, between Bobby Charlton and George Best, underrated defenders in this game, and I found that out. People sleep in them, but they make massive interceptions as we've seen here. Yeah, they really do. And they've really been a problem here for Dundalk today. Great ball over the top to Best. And it's going to need Virgil van Dijk with the header out. That was close again. Massive. Eric Finn. One more attack, maybe? Yeah, one more attack before first half extra time. Haaland, is he in here? Erling Haaland goes for the shot. And that's oh. the back of the net. Erling Haaland brings it back. And dare I say, the comeback story could be on. Eric Finn gets that goal in. Now there's only one goal in it. Oh, I've... The resilience of this man, it's just crazy. Again, Neo Post, the only way to beat Peter Cech from the looks of things, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I know, I don't know what they say. This has been such an exhilarating semi-final. It doesn't get better than this, dare I say. But that is going to be the first half of extra time over. 15 in-game minutes remaining, Duffy. One player walks to the grand final. Eric Finn coming back with that pressure. I want to say, you know, I said JP has the driving seat right now, but we know Eric can come out with some crazy moves. Oh, most definitely. And shown there, he's seen the time and the clock, and he goes, I've won more. And he rarely disappoints when he gets the opportunity. So, look, he's going to show his champion. So, again, we're back now for the second half, so we are, so here we go. This is it, 15 minutes left of extra time. UCD, JP Sleader against Dundalk's Eric Finn. Here we go. UCD leading the play here and trying to get a bit of possession going. And those switches as well are so important to keep possession when you're getting pressure on one side of the field. Oh, most definitely. With the 4 3 2 one tactic that the majority of the pros use, the option is all the song for the fullback and the JP through with Haaland. Here's Haaland, cut of space, Haaland on the ball, pass back. Rodri's there to clear it out. And Eric Finn could have a chance to counter-attack and bring that equaliser into his grasp. Bellingham out wide, tries to give it through the middle. Theo Hernandez again, he's just a player you don't want to pass the ball anywhere near. I oh, know, he needs to be avoided at all costs from the looks of things. He just brings it all. So you can see a brilliant ball out of Benny here now. Great switch by JP Sleader here. And he has a player through with Orn line, but he's playing it slow. He's not forcing passes. He doesn't need to. Albeni on the ball. That's going to be free kick. free kick, I believe. Interesting. We see a pause here as well. Couple minutes left. Eric needs one more. JP needs to hold out. I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm so excited to see what happens. Oh, Eric is definitely going to get one more chance. There'll be one more chance probably for either men, whoever takes it. I feel it's going to go to the, the final. Simple as that. Yeah. So. It's been such a good game as well so far. I mean, we've another semi-final after this to decide who's going to be uh, the person versus the winner of this game. But it has to be said, both players have left it all out today. And, you know, they're in here for a reason. And you can see why by the performances of both players. Oh, massive. We've seen resilience from both men. Showing different attacks from every sort of angle, from set pieces, player locks. Like, just doing it all. And in front of goal, rarely missing. Yeah, here we go. Free kick here to UCD. What are we about to witness? Bobby Charlton. Potentially looking for options here. Goes for the pass. George Best back to Charlton at wide. We know JP's been utilizing these crosses and he has the big man in the box. Goes out wide though. Roy Keane, and this is the possession play we're thinking about, you know what I mean? With JP, he's really come into his own here and it's more well-rounded, and this is such a great example of it. No one went to hold the ball and try to keep this victory. Oh, most definitely an old JP, they've thrown that into the box, but here he knows, spread it out wide. He has a full-back and Tio Hernandez free, which he sprays here. So look, he's done his homework, but a uh, touch. Oh, loses the ball here. Here's Dundalk, could be a last attack here. Ball out wide to Frimpong. Can he find the space? He's been closed down so well. Great, but it's getting trickery. Bobby Charlton has space. Oh. Virgil van Dijk in the middle. Great 
cutting down those passing lanes. And if JP is able to keep the ball here, that could be it. Virgil van Dijk, one minute left of time. Eric needs to win the ball back, but I'm not sure he's going to get the opportunity. And I think that is going to be that. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, UCD's JP Sleater goes to the grand finals. Commiserations.
to come up right now OJ but that last game oh my word that was just incredible it was class it was class wasn't it like it was tough now and I feel bad for example because he's my boy like you get me but <laughs> JP Slater absolutely unbelievable and to just to clutch up in the final depths of the game like it's, it's tough it gets a top player like example fair play to him and he might go all the way yeah, I mean, he could do, you know, looking at JP, uh, he lost to Eric in the group stage, and to come back and to do that against the reigning champion, that takes a lot of grit, and he really showed what he can do. But listen, right now we have semi-final number two coming up. Camden, make some noise! Yup! Let's go, all right. We're going to leave it over to OJ to announce the fixtures. Okay, right now, on the left, from Cork City, we have Kira. Let's come down! Make some noise. And on the right hand side, from Drogada United, we have Owen Mulligan. Let's make some noise for Owen Mulligan.
have the reigning FAI Cup champion and many's favourite in Mr. Wally here. So it's, oh, I can't wait. If it's anything like the last one, we're in for a treat, so we are. It really, really is. Um, it's going to be such a good fixture. Owen Mulligan, of course, as well, came second against Example uh, in the final last year. So it's going to be interesting to see if you can, you know, make a comeback to get into the final or will we see a Mr. Welly coming through? What do you think is going to happen? Oh, look, as we've seen, even through the group stages, Owen, as I was in his group, you know, a bit of adversity at the start, drew us Dooley, or lost to Dooley, drew it myself, he was on the back foot and had to win every game, and look, went down to the wire against myself, and he pulled it out with emphatic fashions, come in here again, last minute winner against Emerald, so he's, he's hard and he's ready, so again, my personal favourite as well, he but that's not how it works, as we've seen in our last game. So. No, 100%. I mean, every fixture has been crazy so far. Uh, it's really going to be a battle of grit. But let's kick off the action right now. We have our semi-final number two. And, of course, it's going to be Cork City's Mr. Welly up against Drogheda United's Owen Mulligan. Here we go. Big, big game ahead here. Cork City, of course, sporting the red kit. And we have... Of course, Drogheda United sporting the white kit here. Uh, Duffy, this is going to be a very, very exciting game. Um, I'm looking forward to both players kicking off. Oh, cannot wait, so I can't. I'm adding a bit of tension here as well with a couple of pauses and that. So definitely looking forward to it. So, we are. so again, look, it can go either way. And we're going to have to wait and see. And, you know, no matter what happens in this fixture, Duffy, the winner of this game goes in a final against JP Sleader. Coming into this event, I don't know if, I don't want to say he was looked over, but I mean, with such spectacular names in here, and even the reigning champion, Eric Finn, for him to come all the way and to make that statement, I mean, this final after this game is just going to be spectacular. Oh, look, and shocked myself, as you've seen with JP, and I can speak practice games over the week. I was helping out the lads. We've done a couple of welly tonies, as we call it. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, JP, I think maybe out of the 10, 15 games, just picked up the one, but maybe he was sandbagging and <laughs> getting ready for what happened. And as you've seen, look, these two men... It's going to be a dog fight who wins it, but it's going to be another dog fight to beat JP. It will indeed. I mean, look, that's what the fixture are after this right now. Thinking about Owen Mulligan, let, let's go back to the group stage and let's talk about his journey here. Uh, I know you said previously he really faced adversity coming to this point in the event. He, he, he was not getting the wins we expected him to get in the group stages, but like you said, he came through adversity, got the win on the final day to make it here, and he has a point to prove, I think. Oh, most definitely. Look, he definitely was a bit insulted. Look, I was a lot of the people's favour to get <laughs> yeah. through. You know, look, he put that in his back and it was added fuel. So, look, he is out to prove that he is the next best thing in Ireland. So, look, it's great to see him. He burst onto the scene last year. He's went from strength to strength this year. So, look, he is up against Mr. Welly, who is, Kieran Walsh, is the face of E-League of Ireland, along with Tyrone, So, which we lost earlier to JP. So, look, well, he is flying the flag for the older guard at the minute. He does not want to be displaced by the younger man. So Yeah, for sure. And, you know, thinking about Welly, like we've seen in the previous fixture, uh, he's so experienced as well. You know, you can never really count him out. He's able to adapt. He's, a he's able to, to change up his gameplay here. And I feel like, you know, with some of these players, as the event's gone on today, being a LAN event, they're kind of adapting to being in the live atmosphere. You know, when you're playing games at home, you're obviously a lot more comfortable and it's a lot easier for you to be in your own environment. But... You know, we've seen the likes of JP coming through here, and I feel like Welly, after that first game, uh, could be a demon here in semi-finals. Oh, most definitely. As we've seen, he's getting used to the gameplay now. As I have been told, it is a tad different. It's a bit slower. So, again, look, it took maybe the likes of JP and that a bit longer to show what they're really about. Again, Welly from the first day, professional job done, so it was. So, we're off again, and look, he has so much bags of tricks. He can do it all. He can go high, he can go low, flip, flap, <laughs> step overs, you name it. Oh, he'll have me in a tizzy tonight, probably. I'll so. tell you, he probably will. Uh, one thing i got to mention, though, I think nearly every goal this evening, and I mean nearly every goal, had Haaland involved. Oh. Uh, we're definitely going to be seeing him again here in this game. Oh, most definitely. He is, as I said, he is a cheat code. Again, the man of it has slowed him down, but still scored. He still finds spaces. If it's not in the, if it's not in the air, he'll just run you on the ground. 
So again, he's going to play a massive part. Whoever uses Haaland the most, I reckon, wins this. So. Yeah, so any casuals at home, Haaland is the card to get if you can get that team of the year. He is absolutely spectacular. Uh, going into this game, though, right, we have, you know, there's a bit of a sense, I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of tenseness around players. And I'm sure you experienced this as well, you know, going into... Um, Going into competitive gameplay, you know, these are at the highest level of esports in the E-League of Ireland here. Um, what would be your kind of preparation playing a game like this in a land? Would you like listen to music? What would be your kind of sense of kind of getting in the zone? Look, my sense of getting in the zone, I have to play with the crowd. I love gearing up and that. But look, many other players, just a bit of music, just takes the mind off and puts a distraction on it. So you're just fully focused in the game. Let the game come to you seems to be the best approach. And again, look, both men have coaches, but coaches are used when needed to seem to step in and just, you know, just give the little advice. And that is massive luck if they're needing a, a little break in between. So it is nice to have it. OK, well, listen, we have the kickoff right now. Semi-final number two is underway. Let's get into the action. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> give us some old folks apologies uh, we're just trying to get into the game and there we go I think we're back in we'll be right with semi-final number two folks don't go anywhere we'll get some Haaland spectaculars coming in um, give us one moment folks but listen Duffy I gotta ask you um, if you're trying to get into the zone and you're listening to music what's your go-to song oh a bit of Taylor Swift so Taylor Swift very hard to beat a bit of Taylor Swift so it is <laughs> Yes, I don't know, but I didn't expect you to come out with that answer. You like I a bit of T Swift, do you? I like a bit of T Swift, get to sing along, so I do. But then <laughs> when it's time, maybe a bit of freeboard in there just to get myself properly going. Look, every man is different. So, <laughs> look, it's a little softy inside. I read that Heidi's a softy on the inside, folks. I don't know if it'd be a bit more rock or dance or something. I'm more of a kind of a hype man. Um, but listen, we're going to have our semi final at number two in just a few moments, folks. I promise no more delays. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Transition will be in just a moment. We're waiting for it, don't worry. There we go.
Okay, we are back with our semi-final number two. Here we go. Cork City FC's Kieran Walsh against Owen Mulligan of Drogheda United. Bit of a delay there, Duffy, but we got there in the oh, end. Oh, we definitely got there. Now, look, ruined disruption of the two players. As we've seen, it's taken them out of the zone, so whoever gets back in first will definitely have the head start. Yeah, I think that's a great point, really. Whoever's able to kick it off fast here. Bobby Charlton trying to find space. Goes for the oh. shot. A great save by Peter Cech here. And that's the second time, i got to say, we've seen Welly go for a shot on the edge of the box here. He's really adapting that into his style. Most definitely. He's, he's a man that was all about 100%, but this time, as he's seen... Ooh. Goes for the corner. Hello. Oh, and Haaland's there. Oh, penalty. 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 Oh. No, it's not. It's a, oh, it's a foul out. I don't know what I've seen there. That's a controversial call. Oh, I don't know about that. Referee, hold on a minute. We're going to get back into the action anyway. Drogheda United, of course, sporting the light blue kit going from right to left. Cork City here in the red going from left to right. And here comes Owen Mulligan to Haaland. Has a shot. Oh, Ooh. goes across. Nemanja Vidic again. Duffy. What more can we say about that man? Ah, he has just not put a foot wrong. There is a reason why he's one of the best to ever do it. So, look, everyone's utilising him. And it's interesting to see Owen going over the top. A big style of his play, so it is. Run the ball here now, well he does, Benny. As Mbappe in the middle, goes to Hullet. Back to Mbappe again, step over boost, killing Mbappe. And great goalkeeping as well. The keeper rush coming in there to effect. Peter Cech, of course, we've seen him make a lot of great saves today here for many teams, and he does so again for Drogheda United. And it's a very interesting game to start off here. A lot of pressure in the midfield from Cork City, but i got to say, Owen Mulligan's looking fresh moving forward. Oh, most definitely. Look, he's a man to utilise his full-backs for sure. Another thing he will always look, Kevin De Bruyne is a mainstay in his team. So, again, Kieran Walsh has it all got to do to cut him out. So, again, just a bit of composure here at the minute, as we've seen. Great bit of play out the back here by Cork City. Oh, it goes for the ball over. And De Bruyne is there to intercept. Theo Hernandez. Oh, it's a great bit of dribbling to get the ball out here. Cork City. Kieran Watts moving forward. De Bruyne. What a switch of play here. Fantastic. Try to find Theo Hernandez. Finds Haaland. Hunting on the ball. Goes for the shot. And oh. what a finish. Cork City take the lead in the semi finals. And Kieran Watts shows what he's all about. Great bit of play, the passing, and what a finish. Oh, what a finish. He mixed the boat up. Ever, I thought he was going back the other way. Little sneaky finesse. This is a different Kieran Walsh tonight. It really is. You know, yeah, a lot of players around the box, Duffy, they're passing it short, they're waiting for the one-twos, but he just let rip there with Hullet, and he found the net with ease. Oh, most definitely. That manual uh, square ball over the top is dangerous, as you can see. He has practiced at the perfection at the minute, so he was cooking something up last night, and I think we've just seen it. <laughs> we have indeed. Fantastic bit of play here for Kieran Walsh to lead the fixture 17 minutes in, and now we get to see what Owen Mulligan is made of. Can he get back into this game and put Trotty United up into finals? Bobby Charlton on the ball. George Best goes out wide to or 9 trying to find players in the middle. Great scoop to Holland. Oh. Great defending. Wow. Kieran Walsh has a player right where he needs to in the middle of the box there. And that was a great attack from Owen Mulligan. But oh, he gets the ball back here again. Pressure keeps putting on here for Drogheda United. And Hullet tackling Hullet. There you go, Duffy. <laughs> massive, massive from Welly. Look, he has done his homework. Owen is a good man to switch the ball over and back and send you back in the back foot. But Welly had not Collins in position to block it. And he is on the attack here now with Hullet. Hullet on the ball has options. Look at those step overs. He knows what he's doing. Oh, Benny out wide. Great bit of skill and trickery here. Tries to play it through. But Owen shuts that down with best here. And I tell you, 25 minutes in, you know, we've seen Owen Mulligan control a lot of attacks here, but well, he's coming into his own. He is. He's starting to just warm up, so he is. And it is interesting to see that Owen Mulligan is Fairland Mendy over Tia Hernandez. Oh, and the ball into the box here. Haaland, oh, what a defending. Oh, Benny with a header out. Or nine on the ball, and there's Collins. You love to see him getting a tackle in here. Great stuff from Kieran Walsh. Ah, oh, look, the Irish players at the minute have been immense, and it is a joy to see. Great bit of passing here. Holland in the midfield, pushing forward. Tries to give it over the top there. Oh, Benny, oh, wins the aerial battle here. De Bruyne trying to find it again. And oh, we can see here, Welly really playing down the width. Uh, really looking for those over-the-top through balls here and finding a bit of success thus far. Yeah, no, most definitely to look. Well, he is a good man to send players in transition, so he is. And 
he is really putting no one under pressure at the minute. It's still only 1 0, Gara. It's still only 1 0, 31 minutes in. This is a tense fixture here. Holland on the ball. Trying to find the ball in to or nine on Benny and Collins. Bring it back to check. And it's very unlucky for Owen Mulligan. Try to send a little dink ball over the top there, but not finding success. But here we go. Cork City just offside with Theo Hernandez. That could have been devastating if he was on. 2 0 against the player of Wellies Calibre. I do not think even the best Owen Mulligan can come back. <laughs> not many of us could come back from him. But again, 1 0. He's had chances. It only takes the one knockdown at the minute, so it does. And look. There is a slight pause at the minute, so there is a bit of maybe just doubts creeping into Wellie's mind at the minute. So again, might suit own getting this pause in, recalibrate himself and go again. Yeah, definitely, you know, in a stage like this, I think every bit of small break is good. You know, it's why players like Wellie have a coach in today in Redlack, you know. He's coming in here to give a kind of second opinion over his shoulder. Because sometimes when you're in the game and you're in focus, it's hard to see what you're doing wrong. And a coach is a great way to help that. Oh, most definitely, and a man of the caliber like him, you know, goes a long way, and we're back now in the action, so we are. Here we go. Owen Mulligan pushing out of defense here for Drogheda United. Mendy back to Collins, and Owen making sure he doesn't put a pass out here. See a lot of pressure from Cork City's Kieran Walsh in that midfield. Owen's going to find it hard to pick a pass through it, but he finds space. Charlton. Goes back to De Bruyne, back to Charlton, finds space, or nine, best! Oh. Puts it in the back of the net, and that's the equaliser for Drogheda United. Just before half time, Owen Mulligan shows what he's all about, puts Kieran Walsh on the back foot, and what a great equaliser. Oh, what a finish, so it is, as we've seen. Look, as I said, gets the ball to De Bruyne, a penetrating pass to Charlton across the best, never missing. Wow, we have a fixture on our hands. Just when we were talking about Kieran Walsh and what he's able to do here. And just like that, the equaliser. And like we said last game again, Duffy, it's game on. Oh, most definitely game on. Resilience shown once again. So, look, anyone can win it at this stage. I do not know. Here we go. Cork City, five minutes before half time here. Can Kieran Walsh push forward here and get a lead before half time? Haaland. Finds Theo Hernandez, lovely little flick, maintains the ball, Cullen looking for some space out wide. Hernandez back to Cullen. That's a great bit of passing. But Kieran Walsh, space out wide. Defended well though by Owen Mulligan. Oh, most definitely. Two blocks of four from the Lux of saying Owen knows it's near half time. Keep it tight, get himself in. And here we go, Haaland out wide here. He probably prefers him in the box. De Bruyne, great ball through to Charlton. Could have space here, oh. near post. Cork City take the lead here on the brink of half time. And I don't think anybody predicted that going near post. A cross going all day, but that's the IQ that Kieran Walsh holds here. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. He might have just been taking a leaf out of my book. He loves a little <laughs> near post finish. As I do say, thank you very much. Smashes at home, so he does. Oh. Again, not many ways to beat Peter Cech. Maybe high and near post seems to be the way at the minute. I think you've nailed it there. You know, in, in the previous games, that near post shot definitely caught Cech off guard. And we see it here again by Kieran Walsh. An absolute bullet finish here just before half time for Cork City to lead against Drogheda United here 2 1. Owen Mulligan. Possibly one more attack here. One minute left before we see half time. And that hoof over the top, is he onside? That is incredible if he's on. Oh. And he's offside there. Once again, we see those, those cross field passes being played. But Haaland moving forward for Cork City. Oh, just gets dispossessed there. And that's going to be half time. Duffy, Cork City leading this against Strahani United 2 1. Both players really show what they can do here. Um, really impressed by Owen Mulligan and how he started. But Kieran Walsh, he just keeps coming back into the game and he's a hard man to keep out of this competition. Most definitely, as we've seen with his last game against Conor Dooley. Look, 1-0 down, does not phase him. He learns pretty fast, as the top pros do. You don't run away from them to start to figure out your weaknesses, as we've seen there. On stroke of half time, gets a goal. Bit of animation as well, which we don't see from Kieran Walsh as much, so it shows how much he wants it. So. <laughs> No, it does indeed, and it's great to see as well, you know, at, at the live events is where we get to see these players celebrate and get to show the emotions of what we're seeing. So it's great to see it up close and personal. Um, we got one more half to go here, and we're going to kick it off right now, second half, and let's get into the action. All right. 
Starts off here with Owen Mulligan for Drogheda United. 45 minutes left here. Nerves have to be kicking in. And Owen Mulligan has a chance to get back into this game. Most definitely. This is it. Look, as most of us say, 45 to 60 is huge. So the next goal is vital, but in this phase of play, which is true, ball through. He's on. Or nine with the shot. Oh. What defending. Unbelievable from Kieran Walsh here to shut down that. that that was nearly a decider goal. I would have put my house on that going in. So but Ornine running through here. We've seen but Benny cutting it out again. A man playing off cam, doing a job. And we've Kieran Walsh on the ball here now to Bappe. Oh, Bappe! Oh. oh, it's a great time finish. And that is high level EAFC right there. That is not easy to do. Even with players like Mbappe, step over boost, gets through on goal and an ecstatic finish to match. Incredible stuff. Oh, crazy stuff. And I can see the flares letting the cork end there. They're thinking there's an E-League final coming. <laughs> <laughs> and it might just happen right now. Two goals up. I mean, we talked about Kieran Walsh and he's not a player you want to be down two goals to. No, most definitely. And as we said, this is the main period of the game. And look, he stamped his authority. We're talking two goals in the space of five FIFA minutes. So Wow. It's incredible to see, and it just goes to show you what these high-tier players can do in that short amount of time. Kieran Walsh has been very successful with those step-over boots, and he's able to find those gaps in defence. You know, we see Noah Mulligan, he's trying to switch the play, and he's mixing it up a bit here. But Kieran Walsh, you know, finding space down the middle that we're not used to seeing. Oh, no, most definitely. Look, it's a different game. Man, love the step-over flip-flap, but he looks to have cut that out of his game, more refined, direct. And as you've seen... Going to be a hard man to stop at this minute in time. He will be indeed. But if any person can put him to the test, it is, of course, Owen Mulligan here for Drogheda United, sending players forward. Bobby Charlton goes back to Hullet, trying to reset some of his players and get extra men pushing forward. We can see here his midfielders are all pushing up. He's trying to get a goal, and he needs to get two if he wants to stay in this competition to grab a seat in the grand finals of the E-League of Ireland. Ball out wide. In the middle to De Bruyne. Hold it on the ball. Ooh. Tries to find or nine. The man you finish again. He's been one of the players of the days for me, Duffy. Oh, he has been he has been the player of the day at this minute in time. He's been a rock at the back. And look, a bit of patience from Owen. He knows he still has plenty of time. But we've well in the attack here now, Tio Hernandez. Back to Collins. Cork City here slowing it down just a bit. Crossfield ball. And yeah, we can see the recycling here in the resetting. Oh, and he faked it actually there. Moving forward, Kevin De Bruyne, Bobby Charlton, Rude Hunnin has space, Hanna on his left, oh. and it's a green time, but what a save by Czech. That pop shot as well on the green, nobody's seen that coming, but Czech did well. Matt done really well, but look, as we said, Kieran Walsh adding that to his game, ball in. Oh. Defended well, and those corners are tricky, Duffy. We talked about players bringing in new tactics to those there. We see Welly, he's tried that driven corner now twice. Unsuccessful, but it looks dangerous. Most definitely, look, a bit more power, and that is put into the mixer, and it's anyone's ball game then. But look, again, Owen not going to stray away from his game plan. Plenty of time. He only needs the one. And here comes Owen Mulligan on the break. Bobby Charlton pressing out wide. Theo Hernandez again there, cutting out that passing lane. And here comes Cork City. Erling Haaland finds a player in the middle, Mbappe. Oh, that is oh. unbelievable. He turns him inside out. Mbappe goes oh. again, finds... Oh, oh. And what a finish by Bobby Charlton. That is absolutely unbelievable. By far the best goal of the day. And that's what Cork City does. Kira Walsh on top. Oh, it's crazy. He sent Van Dijk for chips. Said, you go on there, have an old bag of chips. I'm going to score the goal. And just Ooh. puts it across. That has to be the goal of the day so oh, far. Oh, man, the inside out, the turn back and forth, and the ball roll in the middle. Got a bit of luck there getting it to Bobby Tarleton, but that was so, so skillful, and that's high-level EAFC. Oh, that is at its finest. We get to see the best do it, and even against one of the best, very hard to stop. Wow, just incredible, my word. That's, oh, man, you talked about Welly coming into his own here, Duffy. You, you're behind him here, and I can see why. Um, just incredible player on the ball. Um, you know, we've seen him break down the middle. But, you know, in terms of finals, we haven't seen many players utilising skills and dribbling that much. But Kieran Walsh here really showing why you need that in your game. Oh, most definitely. Look at how many things have we seen from Kieran Walsh tonight. And there's another thing just to put in the back of everyone's mind. Again, if he does get through, JP is watching. So we still have time, though. There is time. Listen, if there's any game you can come back in, let me tell you, it is EAFC. 20 in-game minutes left here. 
And we have Cork City leading against Rohde United 4-1. Kieran Walsh putting a stamp here in the semi-final. He wants to be seen and he wants that spot and that trophy. Ogbeni on the ball for Owen Mulligan here for Drogheda. Hull it. Little flick in the air finds De Bruyne. Goes all the way out wide. Mendy. Little reset back to Hullet. Ball into Haaland. He's got that aerial. His best on side is the question. Oh. oh, it's just wide. Fizzling shot there by best. Goes by the post, but it's great. Great bit of play by Owen Mulligan. More of that, and he might get back into this game. Oh, most definitely. Look, he has looks of thrown caution to the win. Constant press is on. Smart pause from Kieran Walsh. Just to take the momentum out of it again. Let him know I'm winning by three. I'm going to show you who's boss. So look, again, it could be pinned back from this kick out because it's going, it's going to be guns blazing from here on in. Yeah, it really is. You know, at a 4-1 lead, you can definitely afford a pack-up shop and hold possession as much as you can here. But at a high level like this in EAFC, if you put those midfielders and your forwards into the box and you get a Haaland header down, I mean, we could see some extra goals here. Oh yeah, and we're back at the action now, so we are, so again. All right, she'll be back in to the end of this fixture. Semi-final number two, De Bruyne tries to find Hullet, but Mendy's there to clear it out. De Bruyne moving forward, Ogbeni. Back to Virgil van Dijk here. 13 minutes left on the clock here for Trahada United to get back into this fixture. Ball, lovely pass to Haaland, has space out wide. Goes for the skill. Nemanja Vidic there again. What an incredible player. I know we keep talking about him, Duffy, but he's so good. Oh, it's great to see players like Vidic getting good, getting good cards, people getting to use them. But we have Van Dijk down the edge of the box to Bobby Charlton. Charlton with the turn. Great. Holding a possession. Oh. Hold it! And what a save by Czech. Owen Mulligan going for these pop shots. He's throwing everything at the barn door right now, and he nearly finds the net. Most definitely. Was not expecting that. Again, could be a green time on here. Oh, goes back inside. Defended well there. We were potentially looking at that shot. It, it was on the cards, but Owen Mulligan tried to go for the pass. Pele finds Haaland, tries to go back to Bruyne again. Two tackles in the box for De Bruyne here. And Cork City lead this. Hull it out wide. This could be it. Hull it on the ball. Space in the middle. Hull it. Players in. Hull it oh. with the Travella. Great defending by Drogheda United. Five minutes left. Duffy, it's looking like it could be too late. It is looking like it's too late. Owen needs their ball now. So again, look, wise old head and Kieran Walsh now probably will see it out in the corner. Yeah, a veteran to EAFC. He knows how to hold these games out here. And he's pointing, <laughs> he's pointing at his wrist. He knows about holding the clock and taking this game into control here. And we could be looking at the E-League of Ireland final. That's right here in front of us. It's looking like it. And... Fair play to both men here at the minute. Owen not going to give it up yet, as he knows himself won, and he could get a sneaky one, but Haaland through here at the minute. What a touch by Haaland. Space in the middle, but he could go solo. Ooh, still holds the ball over the defender there. We're not used to seeing that kind of dribbling from Erling Haaland, let me tell you. Cullen out wide again. 88 minutes, Charlton, step over. Tries to find space in the middle, but Hullet is there. And here's an attack for Drogheda. Pele and oh. Emmanuel Vidic. Kieran oh. Walsh expertise in defending it's a master class we're seeing oh, here stop i just can hear the man even ring around the room so he can he has been a <laughs> machine he's unbelievable and here we go draw the united last ditch attempt to get a goal finds robbie Keane, and oh. check is there again but he's gonna be offside and that ladies and gentlemen is going to be that possibly one more attack Hallen on the ball be a sneaky consolation it could be Haaland goes to Pele Bobby Charlton oh. and there's the consolation goal Owen Mulligan getting one back into the game a little too late but a very very well worked goal by Johan United there oh, most definitely look he did not want to go out and win but and a great goal like that and look a couple more minutes we could have seen something <laughs> different but professional job done by Kieran Walsh yeah very very well done uh, to both players of course for getting this far to the semi-finals of the E-League of Ireland but right now, you are looking at your finalists. Well done, Cork City, Kieran Walsh progresses to the final. Commiserations to Owen Mulligan for Drogheda United there. Had a great performance starting off, but we've just seen Mr. Welly, a.k.a. Kieran Walsh, take that game into his own hands. Oh, once again, look, facing any adversity, he grows into the game after 15, 20 minutes. He's just making it his own. He's just making it easy at the minute. Showing the stuff that... 
we do expect from Kieran Walsh, but on a higher level, yeah. which is on stages like this, that's what wins the games. It is indeed. All right, folks, we're going to have a very short break. When we return, music from Young Shakur. Don't go anywhere.
I mean, look, looking at JP's performances, just, he really, like, it's just so well-rounded. Compared to what we've seen from JP in the group stages, it's been so impressive in terms of defense, in terms of attack here. And listen, we talk about Welly and how good he is here, but he has a hurdle to climb over. Oh, most definitely, as we know, JP's prowess going forward. And, again, he's shown defensively as well, with resilience, that he's well capable of overcoming any obstacle and has dispatched a former champion in Eric, so well capable. Okay, well, listen... I think we're nearly ready to kick off. So we're going to have it in just a moment, folks. This is what you've all been waiting for. we got Cork City and, of course, we have UCD. i got to ask you, Duffy, predictions for this final. What are we thinking? Look, as he is one of my main men, so I am going to be going Kieran Walsh, but I think it's going to be maybe a 5-4 classic today. Oh, we're going to have to wait and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final. Cork City's Kieran Walsh against UCD's JP Sleader. Here we go. This is it. Oh, I'm getting nervous, Duffy. I don't know about you, but oh. this is what dreams are made of. Someone's going to be crowned the E League of Ireland champion. Most definitely. And look, two boys want to get into a straight way. There's no watching the teams of that. They know what they're playing against. It's going to be a great fixture. Of course, Cork City in the red kit going from left to right and UCD in the blue from right to left. Possession early on here from Mr. Well. He represents Cork City. Holland tries to find Haaland through and Nemanja Vidic. We don't need to say any more about that man, Duffy. Uh, he is Haaland's counterpart here and he's done well for a lot of these teams. Oh, most definitely. As much goals as Haaland has scored, he has been his kryptonite at the minute. So he's going to play a massive part in this final for both players. It's going to be very interesting to see, you know, which AP We've seen him concede, we've seen him come back into the game though. He just has a lot to give here and like we said, he's been so well-rounded coming into these final games today. And here he is, Mbappe in the box, trying to find space and there's Cullen to clear the ball out. And you know, we talk about how good Welly has been in attack, but defensively Welly has been very solid. Oh, he's been, look, he gets over the first 10, 15 minutes of the game and then next thing he's just in his own. Oh, and Mbappe's on side here, great touch as well. Finds Hulla out wide. Finds out Bene. Looking for an option. Defended very well by JP here. Cutting down those passing lanes. But here's Mbappe. Little step over by Theo Hernandez there again. And look, looking like JP here uh, has the defence tied down early on. And ooh, could have a counter attack on here, Duffy. Almost definitely. Look, tight from defence. Spraying ball out. Now, again, big from Ruud Hullet there at the minute. Who's playing a key part in many of the games today as well. So, again, two men bit of nerves at the minute just trying to settle it down but look all to play for it's all to play for indeed there's the switch ball here to Ogbené players in the middle Hullet back out wide Hullet's running through has Mbappe in the middle could find another one Mbappe oh. in the final Kieran Walsh gets the lead here that is what he's all about with oh. the signature celebration Duffy that is incredible that is vintage well with the step over so it is and then a little drop of the dime there to say, this is my final, so. It's so impressive. You know, the step over boost, it's something that we see all the time here, but I don't think anybody has done it as well today as Kieran Walsh. Oh, most definitely. He is the one that is used to utilize. He's figured it out. He's given himself space. And when you give that man space with a step over, as you see, he punishes you. Yeah, lights out there, 15 minutes in. Chance for JP though to come back into this, of course. Haaland on the ball. Tries to find Mbappe and look at Josh Cullen there in the middle. Really representing his team proud here. And Cork City, ooh, that could have ended badly, Duffy, with the switch. I think JP's catching on to those. He is. He's putting his players in the right position, as we can see. And look, well, he's starting to adjust here now. A bit going short. Ball in down Mbappe, but well cut out by that man again. That the man, man the man that can't be named anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Best on the ball out wide. Great defending by Theo Hernandez. Could be a counter attack on here. Bobby Charlton out wide. Hull it closing down here for JP. Charlton really utilising the play. Cullen on the ball. Ooh. De Bruyne tries to find Mbappe, but Roy Keane there. And if any man in the midfield is going to stop it, it's big Roy. Almost oh, definitely. But look, Welly going back to what got him through in the semi-final, playing a bit of wing play here, testing out JP to see what he's all about. Oh, JP in the attack here now, Garrett. Good defending as well by Welly. Oh, there it is! Mbappe! Oh. And that's the equaliser! He's done it again! JP utilising those throw-ins, gets it to Haaland, headed out to Mbappe. Listen, it's textbook play here by JP. Oh, look, the long throw-in, very hard to switch on straight away. The 
stop Alan, he just peels off the defender and look at Mbappe, just simple finish. Does the little Mickey Rash to let him know. So. Yeah, listen, he's back in the game. JP, you can't count him out. We talked about how good Kieran Walsh is, but JP is able to utilize these moments from throw-ins, from any aerial threats as well. And he's been good on the counter-attack too here, so Kieran Walsh has his work set out for him here uh, early on. Oh, most definitely. He's asking all the questions of the day. We thought Conor Dooley was going to be the man to give Kieran Walsh the hardest game. Still to be determined at the minute, but we have Kieran Walsh in the attack here now again with Bobby Charlton back out to Tio Hernandez. So he looks like he's taking a bit of a sting out of the game, maybe. We're back to the wing play. Goes back to Charlton. Is Mbappe onside? Is the question? Oh. Free time. Save by Petr Cech yet again. And we know Wally can put them near post too. Corner here. And what's going to be the tactic this time? Oh, it goes direct. Oh, oh my oh. word. He scored directly from a corner. That is the best goal you are going to see today. Kieran Walsh. Wow, I don't even know what to say. Directly from the corner, Duffy, pinch me. Am I dreaming right now? Oh, what have I just seen? I just can't believe it. And look, as we said in the last game, he's thrown them driven in. Maybe he was thinking, I'm going to throw one in in the final and throw you off. And wow. Wow. I just, you know, we've seen Kieran Walsh. He's tried the driven cross into the box there on two occasions. Didn't work thus far. And I think that's what JP was predicting. He brought his keeper out into that driven spot. But it looked like Kieran Walsh was setting up a dummy, and what a great goal. Oh, look, at the minute he's looking to be playing 4D chess, look, special moment for a special <laughs> player. So, again, look, resilience <laughs> from JP, so out of no game. Very well played here. 2-1 to Cork City in the final. 30 minutes in. Can UCD get back into this? JP on the ball here. Hold it. Tries to find it through. Great defending again by Cork City's Kieran Walsh. He's conceded a goal here early on, but his defending does always look in crisp shape until a player like JP comes along yeah. with an aerial threat and really mixes it up, right? Most definitely. Look, when he's bringing different tools with the player locks as well, very hard to keep tuning in and keep your eye on Haaland. But then we have Haaland on the ball here, driving through. Oh, Haaland. Nice ball roll, keep possession here. Finds it out wide to Bobby Charlton. Haaland! Oh, oh, defended so well. JP cuts that passing lane, gets in front of Haaland and very well defended. Needs to do that for another 60 minutes as well if Kieran Walsh keeps putting on this pressure. Most definitely. And look, massive foot in from Roy Keane again. What do you expect from a leader like himself? So just, just could be what JP needs, a man like him in the pitch. Definitely agree with that one. Hull it moving forward here to Ogbeni. Gets it to best. Has to recycle a bit here. We see JP. Oh, that's great passing. Finds the gap here. Haaland. Mbappe. Space with best. Back to Mbappe. To Haaland. Oh. And that's the equaliser again. One more time, JP gets back into this game, puts UCD back in this fixture, and of course, in JP fashion, incredible. Oh, player locks all over the pitch, a bit of patience, the new and improved JP, and look, he knows himself when you get that man inside the area, rarely misses. Fantastic finish here, JP not giving up, Kieran Walsh has looked good, but JP, you know what, he maximises his moments. We've seen Kieran Walsh pushing forward multiple occasions, down the middle, down the wide as well. And JP, he just comes out with these moments and he, he capitalises on him. I think that's what's been the difference with JP today. Oh, most definitely. Look, all came from the right keen interception. JP grew in a new, there's something here for me. And as we've seen, he, he punished well. He just shifted him over and back and looked very hard to stop. He's done incredibly well to get back into this game. 41 minutes on the clock here. On the brink of half time. Do UCD have another goal? Or will Cork City capitalise again? Goes out of play for a throw in. Ogbeni back to best. Puts it out wide here. You know, Duffy, potentially one more attack left in the half here. They've got to take this low. Oh, most definitely clock management's going to be a, a, to make sure you do not get countered. As you see, George Best now in the ball. Oh, tries to cross it in. We've seen Hallen lurking on the back stick. He's always the man you've got to watch. Oh, most definitely. And long throw ins is near as good as a corner. We've seen what JP can do. There's the long throw. Haaland tries to find it. Cullen, great defending here by Cork City. And unless there's one more attack on, I'm not sure there will be. It's going to be half time. I'll tie it up here at half time, folks. Make some noise. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Nothing can separate these players right now. We got a second half to play, Duffy, but it's all to play for. Oh, and I thought, look, not going up once but twice with Kieran Walsh. I honestly thought that he was going to get into the head of JP, but resilience mentality just shows how much he's improved, how much he wants it. So, again, 
That's all the play. It Jesus. really is. This game is spectacular. It's such high level EAFC as well. You know, we've seen it all from Welly and what he can do on the ball. But JP, you just can't catch him out of the game. You feel like sometimes I'm watching Welly and I'm thinking, oh, Welly hasn't covered here. But then JP comes out with the aerial threat and he just gets back into the game so quickly. Oh, most definitely. Look, as you've seen, you're thinking, wow, but a special from Welly. And then all of a sudden, JP just goes back to basics, shifts it about. The aerial, as you say, seems to be untouchable when he gets away from Vidic. And look, he's making, he's making hay from the minute. He, so. he really is. It's very, very close here. Um, I don't really see a path that like is a definite player going through here. I feel like whoever's the best on the day, I think both of these players deserve to be here. But you know, being in the live environment definitely changes things. And it's really going to be who has the mental to go all the way. Most definitely. Look, both men of experience, you're going to be... Welly is going to draw all his powers from previous years to try get this over the line. And JP, look, he's playing with no fear at the minute. Yeah, he, he really knows is. himself refined. So it's anyone. I, I can't even predict it. Now. I know. I don't know what's <laughs> going to happen. I can't wait for this second half to kick off. It's anyone's game right now. Will Welly be the champion or will we have JP Steeder come out on top? Cork City and UCD. It is all to play for here. I think they're doing tactics right now. There's a lot of tactics going on here, but it's the final, of course. We're used to seeing that, Duffy. Oh, oh, they're back in. Lovely. Oh, no, look, it's the mental game. It's again dragging out the paws, seeing who blinks first. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of mental games going on here, but that's what it's all about, of course. A lot of fantastic opportunities here for the winner of this event here. The E League of Ireland, of course, spot in the E Champions League and a playoff spot, of course, in the FC Pro Championship. Along with 1,500 cash, of course, Duffy. Not too bad. It's not too bad. I'd take it myself now. Be hoping <laughs> that the uh, winner puts a bit behind the bow. Who knows? <laughs> we'll have to see about that one, Duffy. Oh, here's Theo Hernandez. Haaland finds it. Bappé! Oh, what a save! Keeper movement. Keeper movement. And that's high-level gameplay by Kieran Walsh there. Keeper movement saved them. Most definitely. He knew what was envisioned it before. JP did. And luck. And times like that as well needed, but as we know, JP from a set piece is very dangerous. He is indeed. Let's see what he has in his locker. UCD's JP with the ball. Ooh, goes for one of his own. Czech has to punch it out. Still attack is on right now. Fourth holding on the edge. Goes back to Charlton. Bit of a reset here. Ogbeni, he's looking for Hall and those player locks. We talk about how JP has really brought them into his game here for all the fixtures today. And he looks good on the ball. And there's Nemanja Vidic again to tackle Mbappe. Great bit of play there by JP. Oh, most definitely, look. Ooh, back oh. to Mbappe, a little mistake. Oh, oh. now Collins to do a bit of cleaning up. Wow, this game, man. I mean, obviously, we're feeling the nerves right now. We can only imagine what these players are feeling. Oh, most definitely. And it's looking like the players on the pitch are starting to feel it too with loose touches. So again, Kieran was trying to just settle it down again, get back into his rhythm. And he's done well here to move forward. Bobby Charlton has Haaland in the middle. JP giving him space here. Rally moving forward. Haaland has a player on the edge. And Colin tries to give it through to Mbappe. But Holland is there to clear the ball out. 58 minutes on the clock. Great switch here by JP Sleater. And he's slowing the play down. You know, we talk about tempo being a big thing here. And... JP, you know, we've seen that brought into his game. Slows the play down just enough to, get, to catch the counter-attack, and it's what you're seeing right now. Oh, most definitely, and he's able to then fire it up a ball into Haaland, another knockdown to Charlton. Oh, to Keen, looking for a player lock, cancels it there to hold it. Mbappe! Oh, Theo Hernandez in the middle, he needed to be there. Oh, most definitely, he's no better man to stick a little boot in. And we've Mbappe on the break here now. Mbappe has Haaland in the middle. What are we going to see? Kylian Mbappe on the ball, ball roll. Kylian Mbappe, go on the way! Oh. What a great save again there. Keeper near post. And, you know, we see what Kieran Walsh can do on the near stick there. And I think JP caught on to it. Most definitely. Oh, corner kick oh. here goes direct again. I, don't, I think if there was two of them <laughs> gone in, Duffy, I don't think JP would be a happy man. Oh, no, either would I. If you get over and shake and I'm telling him, what are you doing, JP? <laughs> Very well predicted there by JP. He's catching on to, to Kieran Walsh here and how he's playing. And I think that really summarises, you know, the pros here in the AFC. They're able to adapt and overcome obstacles and adapt their gameplay. And JP's really done that well across today's fixtures. Oh, most definitely. Look, the two men, as you can see, are counteracting each other with different changes and switches. And as you've seen there, JP just knew not to keep her out as foul. Paid dividends so far. So, again, just keeping the tempo. And those switches working very well here for JP. 
UCD trying to catch Cork City off guard here. But slowing the tempo down just enough. And those switches once again being a big part of UCD's game there. Just goes out wide though. And here's a chance for Cork City. I think one part of this game as well, Duffy, is we see JP holding on to possession a lot more. So I think once Kieran Walsh gets the ball, he needs to know that everything he does needs to be 100%. Because if he loses it, he might be wasting five or ten minutes. Oh, as you see there, as you say, forcing a pass. You know, JP is this option in on here now to Mbappe with player lock. Mbappe and Haaland's in the middle. Will he go out wide is the question. Well, it's there in front of him. Mbappe out wide. Fakes that player lock. Very well played to Holland. Tries to find the pass through. Cullen is there. And here we go. Cork City holding on to the play. 15 minutes left of time here. Currently two all. Duffy, dare I say, I don't think I can take extra time. Your nerves will be able to hack it. Oh, we're struggling here at the minute, so I am. <laughs> but I reckon one of these players is going to call upon something special to get the job done here now in the 90. We're going to have to see if that magic moment will happen here in the final. Oh, Benny on the ball, plays it through the middle, De Bruyne, Cullen. Great pass out wide, spreading the play here, Cork City. Back in the middle to Cullen, Haaland, little step over, oh, little fake there as well. We see Kieran really getting his dribble in here, back into the game. And it's giving him a bit of space with Haaland, but he has to recycle. JP's defending here has been very well, he's oh. cutting passing lanes so quickly. Just his, his blocks have been brilliant, he's cutting every passing lane, I know, brilliant from well he recycling but break oh, on Mbappe! Oh. what a save Peter check I seen the green time was on there Duffy I thought it was curtains so did I he done everything right them goals and we're going in all nice again JP Peter check has been bailing him out oh. so something different here now that was a close one he has Haaland moving here Haaland on the back and it nearly goes in direct again Duffy those are tricky ones looks to be going anywhere ball moving in the air even Welly himself is getting hard to protect the much power to put on them, but causing yeah. chaos and he has a press on here at the minute. Oh, he does indeed. UCD doing well to keep the ball here, but for how long is the question? Kieran Walsh piling on the pressure. And a great switch there again. Have to say, JP switching to the play here has really been the dictator of him holding the ball. We can see the press from Welly, but he's avoiding that with the switch every time. Oh, most definitely. Look, he's adjusted. He knows what he's up against. Two options on over to Theo and then back over to Benny every single time. And knocked down by Holland. Holland back to. Oh, and Benny's there to hull it. And we have four minutes left on the clock. Can Welly find the back of the net here and make a statement in the final? Bobby Charlton, Theo Hernandez. Oh, great tackle by Ogbené. It's going to be a throw-in. Possession, Cork City. As you can see, probably a little long throw in to Haaland. Oh, oh, goes over to Haaland. Goes back here, lovely recycle. Could be one more attack on the cards at play right here. And Kirill Walsh is holding out. Great switch. Over to Ogbené. De Bruyne. Cullen. De Bruyne again. Keeping possession, the press by UCD is brilliant. But here's Hullen in the box. Finds Mbappe! Oh, oh and the man you finish is the man to stop that counter. Oh, and nearly possession back. We're gonna have extra time. Give it up for both players. 19 minutes could not separate Kira Walsh or JP. Cork City and UCD all tied up here. Duffy, we're seeing extra time again. Oh, what, what a tense game that second half was. Look, both men stifled each other out from JP's knockdowns to wellies everything flip flaps you name it cut out but look Peter Cech has been the difference for JP so far will he win the mini league of Ireland only time will tell time will tell and here we go extra time is now there's already been so much drama today we couldn't ask for any more but we got some more Ogbeni on the ball here Cork City De Bruyne great ball over the top to hull it, who has space here, keeper movement. Oh, Ooh, ball to Mbappe, just gets this place there. Very, very lucky for Kieran Walsh. Oh, most definitely. Caught JP out with a bit of keeper movement. But now JP on the tech with Agbeni. Agbeni moving forward with pace. Out wide. Cork City closing down here very well. Has to force a reset. JP utilizing the switch yet again. Theo Hernandez. We see Hullet on that press. Fernandez, look at the fake player locks as well. He really makes you think about everything you do. Oh, most definitely. Look, players running everywhere. Ooh, and they have an offside. Offside there. We don't see them often from the switch from JP. He's been fairly successful with them. 
But here's a chance now. Ball goes wide to Ogbeni. Trying to find a route through. UCD with a lot of pressure in the midfield. Multiple players around the ball. Kieran Walsh finds that space out wide. Theo Hernandez pulling. Back to Haaland. The space, Haaland with a step over. Back again, oh, nearly finds Hullet, Roy Rook. Keane, the dream midfielder there, cuts out the play. Again, massive interceptions from him. He's cut out to Brian two or three times today, so it's been a big game play up when needed. Very well defended by JP. And here is attack of his own. Moving forward, Haaland. Oh, runs into players there. De Bruyne putting on a shift in that midfield, winning the ball back. And is he on side is the question. Of Bene could have space to push into the middle. Og Bene back to Hullet. Hullet! Oh. What a save, Peter Cech. Pop shot from Kieran Walsh there, just making JP think about the way he defends that. Most definitely, and again, we're back to a corner ball situation, so anything here could happen. Anything here. Will he go for the cross? Or will he go for the route we've seen before? He goes for the direct! Oh, oh and it's just oh. over the net. Kieran Walsh, he, he got the first one in, but he's getting ever so close with the next he's one's after. He's getting closer and closer again, so... I would not want to be giving that man another corner. Oh, I would not indeed. Oh, he loses possession here. This is big. One last attack for UCD. Mbappe has space out wide. Finds out Bene. And that's defended very well for Cork City. Petrcek kicks it out. And nothing can separate them again. 15 minutes left on the clock here, Duffy. I can't take penalties. I oh. would listen. City already lost last night. I don't want to see it again. No, it's not the way we want these two men to go out. They have <laughs> been oh, competitors to the last. Look, nip and tuck tactics. I don't know. I cannot call it. Peter Cech is saving JP, but he has the Hall and Trump cards. So. Yeah. So. Anything can happen here. We got 15 minutes on the clock. One player will be crowned the champion. We see tactics happening right now. I mean, what do you do realistically? You want to get the winner, 15 minutes left. What do you do? Look, subs haven't been used yet, so this is the time. Look, bring something different that hasn't been shown. Just, look, make some guess. There is, look, you have all the players of the day to choose from. Yeah. Someone is going to bring someone on that will make the difference, hopefully, for our sake anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. I mean, we see the likes of Pele and Or9 coming to the mix here. Anything can really happen. That Haaland is always going to be a threat as well here. And, you know, we talked about Nemanja Vidic, of course, being a, a player who's been so common in all the teams today. But that Haaland card has been a menace up front. Oh, look, you've had Haaland. And we're back, actually, with the action at the minute. Haaland, Nemanja Vidic, Theo Hernandez have been the big three. Yeah, for sure. And here we go. UCD kicking it off. 14 minutes on that clock. Virgil van Dijk, Bobby Charlton, UCD. Pressing forward at their own pace, and rightly so. It is not a time to give away the ball unnecessarily. Both players slowing down the play here. Great switch again with JP. Finding a lot of success on Benny. Great bit of dribbling as well. JP really slowing it down here, Duffy. Well, most definitely, and with a little bite there from Welly as well. Don't see it too often, so he wants to win. It's just showing he's just trying something different again. Oh, or Ben in again. Dispossessed. Back on the bit of pressure again, bit of JP pressure. Yeah, you can see both players here really trying to direct the pass and get the counter-attack off quickly. That's why we've seen both players being dispossessed twice. They're really going for that counter-attack and play here. Because they know that could be the route to be crowning them the E-League of Ireland champion. Best on the ball. Great pressure by Cork. But UCD. JP so good on the switch really able to mix it up here Theo Hernandez and he can definitely run Ooh, hold it with the foul here not a lot of fouls today Duffy but uh, I think he needed to do that Kieran Walsh just to upset the play just a tiny bit and slow it down most definitely look Theo Hernandez and gets running it's very hard man to stop as you can see back in the ball here again oh and here's Theo Hernandez could have played in the box there's Hullet what an incredible midfielder. I mean, he gets the ball every time. And, I mean, beside Roy Keane in the middle, that's an unstoppable force. Oh, he's just a man. Mate. Look, 5-5 five five as well with the weak foot and skills. I mean, a massive ball across. Oh, is he onside? Oh! That could have been the magic moment, though. You've got to try things like that. Most definitely. Look, he went for the special moment, nearly pulled it off. But, and Torn has given JP maybe the last chance of the game. Oh, and the switch as well. Both players utilising that. And he finds out Benny was offside as well. So... A switch of hands here with the offside. So here we go. This is it. One minute. 
or we're going to see penalties. This looks like it's going to be the last attack here for Kieran Walsh. This is huge. Switch again to Ogbeni. He's going to push players forward. Ogbeni in the middle to Hullet. Oh, oh, and it goes just under Mbappe. And here we go. Penalty shootout in the E-League of Ireland finals. This is what it's all about. If you could write a story of how it ends. Duffy, this is how it ends. Oh, look, five weeks of incredible EAFC play coming into today. Even incre more incredible stuff have been seen. I didn't think it was possible. Okay, and here we go. First penalty for Cork City. Oh. Bottom left corner. Never well, in doubt from the man, yeah. Never in doubt. All right, here we go. UCT with the penalty. Great. Oh. Top left corner. One all here. Bobby Charlton for Cork City. Oh, Ooh. that's a great finish in the top left here. Mbappe for UCD. Great finish again. Great penalty so far. Oh, brilliant penalties. No man's blinking yet. So. Mbappe. Great penalty. Top right corner. 3 2. UCD with Haaland. The man who's been a menace. Can he do it again? Oh, oh. he just about can. Top right corner. And here's Haaland for Cork City on the far side. Great oh. penalty, bottom right corner for Cork City. UCD stepping up here, George Best. Takes the pot. Great finish in the top right corner. It's a sudden death oh. here, Duffy. This is intense. It's a tension. This is the big one. De Bruyne. Oh, oh it's a save. UCD have a chance to win the title. Bobby Charlton to win it. Oh, oh and that's a save. It. I missed it. Cork City back in the game. Root Hullet. Oh, oh, and it's in. Wow, in a turnover of events, two missed penalties. UCD, oh, down, down the, the middle, middle. Wow. and it's back again. Here we go. Cullen for Cork City, bottom right corner. UCD step up here with Roy Keane. Oh, oh great penalty, early. slowed that penalty, very well played there. Cork City again here, Ogbené, a player we've seen do very wow. well in defence, but he puts it in the back of the net. UCD, Virgil van Dijk. Can he put one past check? He can indeed. Back to Cork City. Hernandez steps up. And what a save! UCD, if they score, JP is the champion of Bene! Oh. And that's it! JP Sleater is your E League of Ireland champion. Give it up, folks! Wow, incredible! Five weeks led to this moment. JP, he's worked so hard, Duffy, he deserves this. Oh, amazing, and he put all his trust in Igbene. He did say to him, go win me in E-League of Ireland, and he buried it. Wow. Incredible stuff there. What a final as well. Commiserations to Kieran Walsh. He had a very successful campaign. We know he's a very high-skilled player there, and that's why it took them right to the end with penalties. Oh, look, Peter Cech kept them from winning it and look he went the whole way as we've seen face adversity saving penalties and ah, it's penalties what can you say uh, wow if you needed a more exhilarating final that's it right there sudden death multiple times as well but with a couple of missed penalties there that was just the most intense final i think i've seen Duffy. that was oh, crazy wow look the what better end can we ask when we get the cheers from jp all right here we go to lift the trophy your E-League of Ireland champion of 2024. Give it up for UCD's JP Slater! Incredible. Great victory there. He lifts the trophy and he should be happy with that. Fantastic performance there by JP. And that means though for UCD are champions. Most definitely. And look, the most improved man probably shocked most people here tonight. He had a tough run. Look, he had to dispatch the last two champions. And look, here he is, champion of the D-League of Ireland. And an incredible champion. I mean, going from the group stages with JP, facing adversity, he's gone through it all here. And not only that, Duffy, but I think we both agreed, he's really improved his gameplay coming into the finals oh, today. Most definitely, look, threw us all a curveball ball and showed how composed, how refined, everything going forward and very solid at the back, which, look, as we've seen, he mightn't have had it sometimes, but wow.
yeah. very impressed tonight with such them. a fantastic display there absolutely incredible listen Duffy thank you for joining us today with cold commentary uh, incredible person to have beside me give it up for Duffy in the commentary guys did a great job right Duffy and just before we go Gara I was told your favourite player you know from his beautiful girlfriend made that for you <laughs> <laughs> go there you go go I'm Dooley big up the Dooley what a player I tell you people's chat right there what a guy what a guy alright folks Big shout out again to the FAI and Virgin Media getting behind this spectacular event. Five weeks of action have led to today and we have our champion of UCD, JP Sleader. Thank you so much everybody at home for watching. We really appreciate it. Until next year, have a good one.